Which is better, the Umidigi A5 Pro or the Umidigi F1 Play? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Follow me on Instagram at KevinBreezeTV. Please join the Kevin Breeze Tech Community on Facebook to chat about budget smartphones, ask questions, and help others. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here coming at you with my comparison between the Umidigi A5 Pro and the Umidigi F1 Play. Now the Umidigi A5 Pro is very new to the market. I just put out my review video very recently and I know many of you are interested in this phone. Now the Umidigi F1 Play came out back in early May and I know that many of you were also very interested in this phone on the channel. So let's put them head to head. Now the Umidigi A5 Pro is currently available for $129.99 on Amazon but you can actually get it at $10 off right now when you apply the coupon at checkout. So you'll be able to get this phone for $119.99, which is a really good deal. And the Umidigi F1 Play is currently available on Amazon for $219.99. So this phone is $100 more expensive than the Umidigi A5 Pro, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see if it really is worth the extra money. Now both of these phones are GSM unlocked, which means that in the US they will work with any GSM carrier. So that includes AT&T and T-Mobile, as well as Metro by T-Mobile and Cricket and Straight Talk. Now, I was able to get Verizon to work with these phones as well, even though that's not listed as a supported carrier. So if you do use Verizon, then you definitely have a chance of getting these phones to work on that carrier. Now, both phones feature 6.3-inch displays at 1080p with a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. They both look really good. They're both super clear and crisp and they're perfect for watching videos, going on social media, and browsing the web. There's really not a situation where I think these displays wouldn't be good. So Umidigi definitely did a great job with the displays, and it is pretty amazing that this phone, for how cheap it is, was able to pack in such a great looking display. Now these phones also feature the signature teardrop notch. However, the teardrop notch on the Umidigi A5 Pro is a little bit more squared off than the one on the F1 Play but they both feature 16 megapixel front-facing cameras. Now the Umidigi A5 Pro has 32 gigabytes of internal storage and the Umidigi F1 Play has double that at 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now both phones feature micro SD card expansion if you wish to do that. However, nothing really beats having that good old-fashioned internal storage. Neither of these two phones feature wireless charging, but they do both have fingerprint sensors on the back. So we'll do a quick demonstration of how that works. So we'll do the A5 Pro first. And that was super quick at unlocking the phone. Now we're gonna do the Umidigi F1 Play. And that was really quick too. So the fingerprint sensors are really nice in both phones. They're very conveniently placed. So that's not a problem at all. Now the cameras on these two phones are definitely a bit different. On the Umidigi A5 Pro, we have a main 16 megapixel rear camera. We have a secondary five megapixel camera that is a depth sensing camera. And then the last camera is an eight megapixel wide angle camera. And the Umidigi F1 Play has a dual camera setup with a 48 megapixel main camera and an eight megapixel secondary camera. With the Umidigi A5 Pro, we gain the ability to take photos with that wide angle camera which definitely is very useful in many situations, especially outdoors. And with the F1 Play, we get a 48 megapixel camera, which is pretty outrageous. So you'll have to really decide which you prefer. I think each of these phones offers their own benefit with their cameras, but let me know in the comments which you'd rather have. Would you rather have the extra wide angle camera or the higher megapixel count? Now with both devices, we will be getting bokeh mode, which is similar to portrait mode that you'll find on iPhones. The Umidigi A5 Pro features 4GB of RAM and the Umidigi F1 Play has 6GB of RAM, so more RAM on the F1 Play. The Umidigi A5 Pro has the MediaTek Helio P23 processor and the F1 Play is the MediaTek Helio P60 processor, which is a much better processor. Now I did do an Antutu benchmark for both devices, so you'll be able to compare the performance here, but as you can see, the Umidigi F1 Play, I don't know why it says F1 because this is the F1 Play, scored significantly better. Now with the A5 Pro we get a score of 82223 and with the F1 Play we get a score of 141611. And especially with the CPU you can see how much better it is on the F1 Play. Now even though the F1 Play has better benchmark scores, 
the Yumida G A5 Pro is still a good performing phone. It's nice and quick, and the Helio P23 processor certainly is not a bad processor. And I know that especially because I've used it in other devices, and I've had very good experiences on every device with that processor that I've used. Now video recording with these devices maxes out at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The Yumida G A5 Pro has a 4,150 mAh internal battery, and the Yumida G F1 Play has a 5,150 mAh internal battery. Now both phones run Android 9 Pie, and this is stock Android, so if you're a big fan of stock Android, then you're definitely going to like both of these phones. Now that we've compared the specifications of these two devices, let's now take a closer look at the hardware. Now I already talked about the displays and everything on the front. Both devices feature 1080p displays with a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio at 6.3 inches, and I definitely like both of these displays a lot. They're both really good looking, so for viewing content, both of these phones are going to do a great job. Now taking a look at the left side, we have a similar configuration here, with both phones having the slot for the microSD card and SIM card. Now we do have a very different build with these two phones. On the A5 Pro, we have a metal band running around the sides. And on the F1 Play, we have a polycarbonate material here that stretches all the way around the back of the phone. Then on the right side, we have a similar setup here with the volume button and we have the power button. And then on the top of the two phones, we have nothing on the Yumida G A5 Pro and on the Yumida G F1 Play, we have the noise canceling microphone. And on the bottom of the two phones, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, we have the microphone, we have the speaker, and we have different ports on the back. With the A5 Pro, we have a micro USB port and with the F1 Play, we have a USB-C port. So I definitely prefer USB-C out of these two, but I understand why the Yumida G A5 Pro does have micro USB, and that's because it's for cutting costs and budget reasons. Now, taking a look at the back side of these two devices, we have very different materials, but I'm a big fan of both. Now, on the A5 Pro, we have the crystal blue color. You can also get this phone in space gray, but it looks very good. It's nice and reflective on the back. And with the F1 Play, we have this very sharp looking red color with the polycarbonate back. I really do like this red though, it looks really sharp. You can also get this phone in black if you want, but I definitely recommend getting it in red. Let's now do a speed test comparison between these two phones. Let's start by pulling up the camera. So one, two, three, go. And it looks like the F1 Play was first to pull up the camera. Let's now go to Google Chrome. One, two, three, go and the F1 Play was quicker at pulling up Chrome. Let's go to Yahoo, one, two, three, go. Looks like it was about a tie to pull up Yahoo. Let's go to Engadget, one, two, three, go. And looks like it was about a tie. Maybe the A5 Pro is actually a little bit quicker here at pulling up Engadget, kind of interesting. So we'll do some scrolling here. Very smooth on both phones. I think it's a little bit smoother though on the F1 Play. Now let's go to this article, one, two, three, go. And the F1 Play was quicker at pulling up the article. So is the Yumida G F1 Play worth spending the extra $100 over the Yumida G A5 Pro? Well, I think it really comes down to your personal preference. There are many differences though with these two phones, but I do appreciate how they both have the same display. Now there's some major differences with the cameras. It's really up to your personal preference. So let me know if you'd rather have that wide angle camera or you want a 48 megapixel camera on the back. We get two extra gigabytes of RAM with the Umidigi F1 Play. We get a much better processor with the MediaTek Helio P60. We get 1,000 extra milliamp hours of battery capacity, and we get double the amount of internal storage. But other than that, those are all of the benefits with the Yumidigi F1 Play. But let me know what you think of these two devices and which one you prefer. I definitely like them both. I think they both have their own places in the marketplace, so I'm glad that they're both out here and available. And if you're looking to buy either of these two devices, then definitely take a look at the link in the video description, as I'll take you over to where you can get them on Amazon. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.